Hello, welcome to The Retro Show. I'm Mike, and we're going to be looking at the weird and wonderful Zeller's Games. Now, if you're not from Canada and don't know what I'm talking about, there was a period of time in the 80s that um, Zeller's repackaged or ROM hacked some games from Atari, named it their own uh, games and altered the packaging and altered the name so it looked like it's brand new games that was quote unquote incompatible with the 2600. It's a very interesting period of time. Please, somebody who knows more information about this, let me know in the comments. But these were Zeller's games in like red boxes and they sold them under different titles and they were pretty cheap and pretty interesting. But anyway, you're more interested in Zeller games from Atari or Atari games from Zellers, so stay tuned. So welcome back. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I'm in frame. Yes, I am. So this is called Busy Cop. Busy Police, sorry, Busy Police. And if you notice, look at the, um, sorry. I'm going to point this way. There. So it says copyright 1993. Supposed to be an Activision uh, 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 logo. Nope. Just the rainbow. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> so this is the, one of the games from Zeller. So Zeller's, as I said in the beginning, they are a company. They're, they're basically uh, a Canadian retail, retail chain. They sell a lot of inexpensive products. They were up against Walmart until Walmart... Decided to come to Canada and they got better prices. But anyway, they were selling games. Zellers was selling games that were repackaged from Atari. This is another Activision game that they decided to call it Busy Police. So let's play it. Now, if you notice anything else amiss other than the logo not being there, let me know in the comments. I'm not going to do a side by side. Let you do that because I'm playing the game. I'm surprised that this fell under the radar because it is a pretty fun and colorful game. I guess the um, whoever decided to re-release this for uh, Zellers decided, oh, nobody knows about this game. It's called Keystone Cops, I believe. I will walk right hundred miles an hour. I will walk right hundred more. Come here, you stupid. There we go. Gotcha. Rinse and repeat. So what are those little... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yoink. Can't you run on the escalators? I run on the all the time. I run on the escalators all the time. Yay, yay, yay. Wee, wee. I like to be in this shape. Running around. Always gets his man. Yep. Now, if you're in Canada, have you ever bought one of these games when it was available in Zellers? I have one, uh, Dragon's Breath. I forget what it's called, the Zellers brand. Dragon's Fire, sorry, Dragon's Fire. It's called Dragon's Fire. And I forget what it's called in when they did it in the Zellers. But I got it at a retro store. But I remember seeing these uh, Atari games in store shelves uh, at Zellers. I remember I was going, huh, what's these? Never picked one up. They were not even boxes. They were like, uh, I'll explain this. There was a type of packaging. You know, like uh, if you buy uh, scissors or if you buy like a glue gun, they always come in these like seal packages. There's like a cardboard backing. And then there's uh, basically the plastic would mold over whatever you're sold. They sell like, I don't know, like, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, they sold them in those packaging. They were hanging up on these, um, hanging up on the wall with the, the spikes there you put up for pa uh, for stuff. And yeah, I picked one up, look at the back, it's, huh, it's this game. And they just kind of renamed it. I was kind of young though. 
was in the 80s. It was the late 80s, I know that. Because everything was Nintendo. And I guess they were banking on nobody caring or remembering Atari. Because everybody was playing Nintendo. And I guess that was around the time when Atari... I did it again. Atari was coming out with their Atari Junior console. Like the, the new Atari one. And you gotta get games for it. Whoop. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Whoop. Whoop. Can I? Whoop. Ooh, that was close. Am I going? Oh, yeah, well. Arg. Arg. Um, can I can I go down? I can't whoa what the I can't go down? Oh I'm boned. I am so boned. I am so boned. <laughs> anyway, that's busy police. So let's try pinball. Now it's called, it's actually video pinball from Atari, but it's just called pinball. Oops. No. I don't think they changed anything here. Anyway, eagle eyes, those eagle eyes of, of you, of Atari, uh, what's about Atari 2600 will probably tell me what's different, if there's anything. Because if I was a company doing this, the first thing I would change is those Atari logos. Yeah. Well, we better not. A brand new TV is yours for free. So, I'll explain Club Z. Well, it's it's not hard to explain. It's uh, they had other stores like this in the states and other countries. You buy stuff and you get points, and you every point is like so many cents or a dollar or whatever. I think it's like a hundred points was a dollar and you would have to buy stuff at Zellers and it took me a long time, but I bought one of those like CD racks. That's the only thing I can buy. I was only my only goal because I had that Club Z card for the longest time. I know they, they incorporated the Club Z with, um, with, I think it was, um, credit card you had club z points and they kind of like rolled it into a credit card but i don't have any i didn't have any credit at the time and i just i had the club z card that was it if anybody can be a member you just go up sign up and put your name on a card and away you go i had that like cd rack for the longest time it was cheap it was very cheap and then I went to Columbia House. That was a mistake. To fill up my CD rack. Oh, there we go. Oh. Anyway, it's pinball. It is the pinball. So here is Earth Attack, which is pretty much Defender. <laughs> That's Defender. Uh, with some sprites, you could probably tell right away this doesn't look like Defender. Well, it, is, it does look like Defender. I'm not. I'm not. Um... How many? Wow, a lot of modes. All right, let's try this one. Whoa. 
I've noticed that when I flicker, there's a lot of flicker here. And when I flicker and I time it right, and uh, 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 I can't talk. None of the um, enemies can hit me. I've noticed that if I can just keep flickering, they don't hit me at all. <laughs> This is a different level, like, hang on a second, hang on a second. There. That's the one. That's the one I want. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh-oh, I see it, but I killed myself. Uh, ah! Don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Oh, he just touched me. Touch me, touch me, I don't want to feel the ship's body. Ah! Oh, oh, you little monkey. You little monkey. You, you sick little monkey. Uh, no, 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 Repeat, rinse, repeat. Ah. Ah. Oh, I did get past that level. All right, all right. So I just kept playing. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Lot. Sorry, folks, for the flicker, but that's that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. They liked it. Uh huh, uh huh. You can just imagine how much flicker it is on a real Atari. Someone didn't get sued. Maybe they did. Maybe they put a suit because they didn't last very long. From what I remember, I saw them maybe once or twice in the store, and then never again. Ah, uh, don't know what the history about it is. Again, please. Put a uh, link in the comment if you know more information. Oh, there's a video up there. I'm going to look it up, sorry. How about this? I'll look it up after the video's been posted. Anyway, that is that. The last one, I am so sure, certain, certain that this is a Mario hack. It's a very good one because it almost looks like a different game, but it just feels like a Mario hack. Just the way he moves, like a couple of sprites. And it's hard, 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 hard. Uh. Like, I don't think uh, Ninten uh, Nintendo or Atari can say that this is a blatant ripoff of... Oh, I did it on the first try. Or second try. Oh, yeah. I did it. I have been playing this a little bit. <laughs> Trying to practice. But it just gets that Mario feel. I, like, I doubted if they did it from scratch. Like, they make this game from scratch. 
I'm sure that the, the, um, uh, I don't know, I have a feeling. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm totally wrong, and this game is, a, is another game that they hacked, or it's a brand new game for their line. And they decide, no, we'll just copy other games, and this is the only original game that we have. It's not really fair, because the, the enemies are just... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was unfair. That was... I was there. I was totally there. Do I turn into like a hat? That's my hat. Uh, uh. Come on. Uh. Oh, come on. All right, last guy, last guy, last guy. I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your stay because I enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed your stay because I enjoyed my stay. No. Anyway, if you like this kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback will be appreciated. Until the next video, this is Mike signing off.